Checking out the original list from um, how's the video called again? The top ten um, music video parodies of all time. Um, I I thought you know it was alright. Um, it was actually pretty entertaining, especially you know number one was obvious. El Yankovic, spoiler alert. Uh, and El Yankovic is on the thumbnail as well on the second one, so uh, we're gonna see where this is going. Um, I really, yeah. I thought the first one was alright, so we're gonna see if this one is even better, right? The sequel. It's probably worse, but we're gonna see. The only way to find... Oh, two ads, I love that. I love the way you get two ads on one video, I love that. Fuck off, YouTube, fuck off. I, I just wanted to say, just make an entire video with El Yankovic parodies, but they, but they already did that. Five million views, good, good job Watch Mojo, good job. Phil so Collins. Not panic at the disco, fuck off. I fucking hate Panic at the Disco. He's just one guy, right? So I fucking hate that guy. Young XD? No. Taking dance music to task, the SNL crew gets very surreal to poke fun at Avicii. Hyping up the crowd, Da Vinci hovers his head over the bass button while playing on his computer. Cooking yep. and playing with toy skateboards, he's clearly not taking advantage <laughs> of all the power. He milks it for all its worth. He fucking milks it. That's great. That is basically a Vichy for you or any EDM artist out there. Keep your eyes shut, Raiders of the Lost Ark reference. <laughs> <laughs> get turned off. <laughs> get turned off the death. I love it. Number nine, Bowie, aka Bowie. Just you know, lonely on it never. Uh, they they never disappoint, and I'm still not su still not subscribed to that channel, so I should do that, right? Space, flight of the Concords. <laughs> Those visuals. <laughs> Just as a uh, ship going slowly towards you in a really shitty half ass way, I love it. <laughs> it's so bad as a good in a way. And then you throw Space Oddity at me, yeah. Oh. Space Oddity, one of the finest songs ever. Yeah, they do that because it is based on that, I know, but. Uh, don't make fun of Bowie, man, I love Bowie. <laughs> Try not to laugh with this uh, with these videos. Of course, the ending which pairs outfits and moves from modern love with music inspired by Let's Dance cements the video. And I said to myself, hey, I like the Lonely Island, so maybe I'm gonna subscribe to this channel. And they made a top ten about them as well. Fucking hell watch Mojo. You're on point. You're on fucking point. Well, you're just basically trying to get views right, but still. Good job. They don't even know the, you know, my band name, but you're a fucking solo artist. Maybe. <laughs> oh, I hate that song, but I love the parody. <laughs> it's funny because he's fat as fuck, boy. Take on Milkshake by Khalees. 
That's racist, man. And that was the thumbnail as well. Fucking hell. I, I don't have to hear that name. I really don't. I just repeat it. That is a bit weak, you know, um, having a girl wearing your own merch in your own video. That is a bit weak, man. That's a bit weak. But, the f but you know, it is about uh, brainless pop music, so I, I gotta enjoy it, right? In the finale, Burnham takes things up a notch when he kills a girl and beats her heart while audio of Hitler plays underneath. Ugh. Nah, I'll this. Should I skip it? Why is he so, you know, close to the camera? <sighs> this is not about Shinea Corner, right? No. Why? Don't know. Uh, oh, fucking hell. Don't go down there, please. Why does, how does it feel like this? Why, why does that video exist? Really? The group, it is one guy, right? I'm pretty sure it's one guy. Yeah, about the Beatles and the Ed Sullivan show. I mean, so overdone. This video is a clear play on the Beatles' historic Ed Sullivan appearance. Yep. Couldn't figure that out. reportedly performed the song 23 times to get all the shots, but the end result is certainly worth it. He's a one man band in a group made up of eight members. Just like its inspiration, cheering can be heard throughout most of the video, while Ryan Phillippe delivers a spot on imitation of the deadpan announcer. Credit where credit is due, Nirvana spooked Ed Sullivan first. Yeah. But hey, this yeah. concept is clearly good enough to support multiple parodies. Nirvana did it first and they did it better. What is this? Generic pop punk. Oh, bowling for soup. Nice. Wait, isn't this band heavy as hell? Is this is a fucking pop punk band. Oh wait, ah, uh, I'm fuck, I'm fucking brain dead. Yeah, um, guys, this is really fucking retarded. But you know, I watched this TVT video. Uh, yeah, that's red. That is retarded to begin with, right? Yeah, no, 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 no. He's a fun guy. Go watch him. He's way better than me. Um, but, 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 um, he said, you know, Bowling for Soup is one of the heaviest bands he knows, but he didn't mean that in, you know, uh, heavy sounding. That guy, you know, that B Bowling for Soup guy, the really fat one, uh, he, me he meant in that literally heavy, heaviness. I feel so fucking stupid right now, fuck no. I, I actually thought that Bowling for Soup was a heavy band. <laughs> that, that is fun though, that is fun. Nope. It must be really sad, you know, to um, 
to be so fat and to be in the pop punk bed. I'm not I'm not hating on fat people, but still, you know, to be so fat and also be in a pop punk band. Must not good must not be a good life, right? Well, the criticism at least. I'm gonna quit there. He tries so much. After giving the fly from you might think a good swat, he finally decides to work on an ending instead. Funnily enough, this clever meta concept actually came from Collins's inability to decide on a video idea, so they shot a mock version of the process behind it instead. So how does it end? Oh Phil, oh Phil. His, uh, his solo stuff is so boring. I've said it many times before. Genesis is great. Solo stuff, not so good. Less great. Not horrible, but still. Mumford and Sons. They're just basically parody, parodying themselves. Because every song by them is the same. That's... Oh, that's gross. Shredding their hearts out in the finale, they destroy all their instruments in the excitement. Surprising and delighting fans with a hilarious casting switch, this video garnered millions of views within a matter of days. That was number two? Yeah. Is El Jankovic again on number one? Nice. I feel like dancing from all time low. Horrible band. It's an all time low though. Yeah, they're one of the worst. A uh, good name. Just a gigolo. I ain't got nobody from Dave Lee Roth. Dave Lee Roth in the solo career. What is wrong with that? He is again number one. Nice. Nice. EMP will go all of that. Two times number one, he is a legend. People, yeah, just request the weirdo, uh, the weirdo parodies to me. They're great. Uh, it isn't requested yet, and this was the last video, at least that was requested. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the video. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this is the last video that was requested. So, uh, if you want me to do more videos, then let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I will happily do them. Hope you've enjoyed the list. The videos um well and maybe maybe if you guys don't request them then this is farewell um you can of course always request more videos uh, i will see that in the future down below in the comments if your guys are still interested in the in the channel but let me know down below hope you've enjoyed it and take care